Today, I'm in high school science. I have a new title. You know me as Mr. Sub. Hey, Mr. Sub. Hey, you, substitute teacher. Hey, you. Hey, what's up, Sub? Now, I have the title as the world's crappiest substitute teacher. I could also go for the world's <laughs> substitute teacher, but I'll have to bleep that out because I don't like swearing. As the world's crappiest substitute teacher, I've been called into the principal's office and been chewed out. I've been chewed out by secretaries. I've been chewed out by other substitute teachers. I've been chewed out by vice principals. My crime, letting kids get away with too much. Yesterday, when I was checking out, I had a big ass complaint from the special ed aide. She said I didn't keep control of the class. Guilty. A special ed aide wanted me to be a man. You have to be a man. Show these kids who's boss. My response was, bite me, I'm a sub. All right, I didn't say bite me, I'm a sub, but pretty much it went something like this. Sup, sup. You know that old saying, life's too short? Life is too short. Look at me, I'm about 90% done with life. Unless they find a cure for ugliness, I'm a goner. All right, I'm gonna tell you the honest truth about being a sub. I have no training. Oh, sure, five years of tap, a couple of years of modern dance, but no training in how to deal with special ed kids. No training in classroom discipline. No training in music, shop. Very little training in math. A lot of training in Shakespeare. To be or not to be. So I have to say to the aide in special ed that wanted me to be a man, hey lady, here's your manhood. Life of a sub.